Welcome to Mix CG Arts. In this short tutorial, we'll delve into creating a procedural butterfly flying animation in Blender 4.1. Our entire animation process will be based on geometry nodes, offering a versatile approach to animation. Let's explore this exciting journey together. Let's start by modeling the butterfly wings before we jump into the geometry nodes process. If you've already created a butterfly, feel free to skip this step. Let's add a plane by pressing Shift A. Press Tab to enter edit mode. Right-click and select Subdivide from the menu. On the pop-up menu, increase the number of cuts up to 3. Now press Numpad 7 to switch to the top orthographic view. To move the plane, simply press G. Next, press S to scale it smaller. Let's get back to the object menu by pressing Tab, and then add a Subdivision Surface modifier by pressing Ctrl-2. Now let's return to the edit menu. It's time to adjust the plane to shape it like a butterfly wing. Uh, for this purpose, we're going to utilize the Proportional Editing tool. Choose the Move tool for a clearer view of the axis. Next, press S to scale it smaller. Press A to select all, then R to rotate it. Now, select this vertex and press G to move. While moving, rotate the mouse wheel to adjust the size of the Proportional Editing brush, making it bigger or smaller as needed. I'm shaping this wing within a 6 square grid. As you follow along, pay attention to that. Keep adjusting the vertices until it resembles the upper wing of the butterfly. Now press A to select all, then press Shift D to duplicate the mesh. From the drop down menu of the proportional editing tool, select connected only to affect only the mesh we have selected. Next press S to scale it smaller. Now continue adjusting both shapes to resemble butterfly wings.
At this stage, let's press E to extrude and make it slightly thicker. Press E and then Z to make it a little thicker by extruding along the Z axis. While the mesh is selected, right click and choose Shade Smooth. Let's add the mirror modifier to see what we get here. Let's continue refining the shape to make the edges smoother. Here I'm using wireframe mode to select and adjust the upper and lower vertices. With the mirror modifier, you can better visualize the results of your tweaks by comparing both sides of the mesh. Now I'm skipping the refining part to keep the video shorter. From the previous steps, you should have a basic idea of how to model butterfly wings. Next, let's start animating. Open a new window and switch to the Geometry Node Editor. Now click on New to create a new Geometry Node group. Let's press Shift-A and search for the Set Position node. Place it between both group output nodes. Now press Shift-A and search for the Scene Time node. Let's add a Position node. Let's add a Vector Rotate node as well. Let's connect the Position node to the Vector Rotate node and connect the Vector Rotate node uh, to the position of the Set Position node. Change the type to the Y axis. Let's check the rotation by adjusting the angle value. To add a Divide node, first let's extract a node from the socket. This will open the menu automatically. Now, search for the Divide node. Now, pull the thread again from the socket of the Divide node and this time, add the sign node. Connect the sign value to the angle of the vector rotation node. Let's play the animation to see what we've achieved so far. Let's adjust the value in the divide node. As you can see here, as we increase the divide value, the rotation animation becomes slower. Let's decrease the divide value to make the animation a little faster. Now, pull the thread from the socket of the Sign node and add the Multiply node this time. Now, add the Multiply node between the Sign node and the Vector Rotate node. Now, let's play the animation. Let's increase the Multiply value to 1. Now, duplicate the Position node by pressing Shift-D. Let's search for the separate XYZ node. Connect the position node to the separate XYZ node. Pull the node from the X socket of the separate XYZ node and add a greater than node. Now, pull the node from the result socket of the greater than node and this time add a switch node. Let's change the geometry to float on the switch node. On the switch node, change the false value to 1 and the true value to minus 1. Let's duplicate the multiply node by pressing Shift-D and add it between the first multiply node and the vector rotate node. Now it's time to connect the, the output of the switch node to the value input of the multiply node. Now duplicate the position node by pressing Shift-D. Now, drag the node from the position output and search for the distance node. Let's duplicate the divide node by pressing Shift D. Change the divide node to subtract. Pull the distance value and add a multiply node. Now, connect the Multiply node to the Subtract node. Alright, let's play the animation now. Um, let's duplicate the Distance node.
change it to a multiply node. Let's change all three values to one. Now connect the multiply node to the distance node. See how when we raise the second value of the multiply node, the flapping animation gets more lively and exciting. I'm adjusting the second value to 1.5, but feel free to change it to whatever value you prefer for your animation. And change the divide value to 5. Now, let's change the second value of the distance node. Um, let's adjust the value of this multiply node. Here I've tweaked some settings to make my animation more interesting. Feel free to adjust according to your taste. I've set the second value of the distance node to magnetus 1.5, the multiply node to 0.3, and the divide node to 4. Indeed, you can animate a plane using image projection as showcased here.